Now it's time to make some kindling. Well, I think that's it out here, and I filled up the can for starting fires right here. This is the stove oil. I'm going to throw it over here out of my way. I'm going to tuck the rope on there. You guys see me put a piece of rope on there to make sure I don't mix it up with my gas for my skidoo. That's the last thing I need is to put a... A splash of that in my machine, oh my god. Take out some supper. Take out some moose. I haven't had moose for a long time. I just started a fire. 320, I think it is. It's not cold in here, but I figured I'm up too wide awake for this time. So we'll go lie down again for a while. See you guys in a few hours. Well, today is Sunday. And the winds are up. Obviously storming. And we'll see what the day brings. That's ready. Time to feed the kids. Good morning. I think I see four in the four of them around. The sun's just coming up, so let's Fire up the skidoo and uh, figure out what we're going to do today. Mine is 16 this morning. No wind. Love that. Well, I'm just going through my bag and I'm glad I did before we take off. I took my lighter out of here and I forgot. So that's in there. I got a spare USB connector for my for my GPS. I was gonna buy one that actually uh, replaces the power point on my machine, and I figured for next season I had enough going on. Of course, I got some uh, 17 HMR uh, shells. My gun is always with me. It's in my gun boot on the side of my machine. This is the jerry can I thought that would splash a little bit, leak a little, because I don't have a rubber seal on it. Silly me, give those jerry cans away, and I didn't take the rubber seals off of them. I should have. Well, we made it to the first box, and it looks fine to me. Been sitting here all all summer. Caught a few fur here last season. This is where I lost, or the fox got off because I didn't tighten this little uh, link on here. And uh, I ended up taking it off and just putting a wire. No. Wire should be good still. Get some bait. I'll put the lure on first. Nice and high and out of my way. I don't 
get it on my big jacket. Just a matter of time before it gets really cold. Oh, stinks. Sure is nice out. A little bit uh, wet right here. A little damp. smelly fish yeah okay, I got my bait in here Anything at eye level, I usually break off. I don't want to turn around like this and get something in the eye. Be careful. Just being careful, I mean. Okay. My other trail's over on that side, but this, this way seemed a little better. GPS. I think it's too close. Yeah. There we go. Now we're right on the trail. I was zoomed in too much. So all we do now is watch the GPS. seen a fresh moose track behind the cabin. Well, not fresh, probably uh, yesterday, the day before. Fresh it off. Now we just stay on this trail and work our way to the tent for coming up. Boy, it sure looks different every year. I'm right on my trail. Only got to do this once. Should be straight ahead here. And I see it. There you go. Pretty awesome. Okay, I'll get this set and continue on. I got another 330 out. And I forgot to throw 330s into my sleigh. That's all right. I think uh, there's only one more 330 anyway. Martin box over there in the bush. We're going along the bush line here. Slowly getting there.
least it's a nice day. I'm going to throw a 220 here in this opening, like I did last season. That's where I caught that white fox that got into one of the Martin boxes and tripped the 330. Already have some fish in here. I put some lure on the tree already. Chugging away, chugging away. Glasses, that zipped up. Oh, geez. I didn't even zip up my pocket last time I was using that. Not cool. Well, that's the first fresh track I've seen today. Nice big fox. Came from the North Knife River. Heading that way east hopefully we'll get him come on clear skies have a 120 in here that's already set also have a i had a 330 in here waiting for me but i got no 330 traps so I'm going to throw in a 220. Still see that fox occasionally coming this way. Unless it's a different one. And of course two twenty. One side is not set. trigger. I don't know if I have any triggers at home to fix it. Yeah, I better not throw it in. Yeah, it only has one trigger wire on it. Okay, we'll get another one. I'll fix that tonight.
quite a bit of fish in there. Carry on. We've been setting for, I think, about uh, three hours. Everyone's always asking me why my boxes are this way. Like, how come they're not the other way, I guess, for the animals to come up? Because uh, it's speed for me. I want to throw the bait in there and go. I don't want to be hanging it in there, goofing around. Pretty below. Pretty nice right now, but to me it's just speed. I'm going to have at least maybe 200 traps out this season that stay out. Well, not all of them. A lot of Martin boxes. I got putting a net another 75 out at least. So somewhere around, say, the 200 mark. Well, we're going to get up to the 300 mark eventually. Well, I'm not going to be sitting here uh, hanging bait in there and all that just because, you know, I, it might be better for the Martin just to go straight up into the trap. I, I catch them either way. So. And this way, throw it in there and go. Nothing uh, touches my bait. Uh, very seldom I ha I'll have uh, bait missing. I don't recall ever having bait missing actually just with the fox pulling on this and taking it away. But that's uh, very seldom also that they do that. Okay, let's continue on. We're close. Got a little bit of sunshine happening. Well, it's going away now, but it was nice and bright. Well, guys, we actually made it to Horseshoe Creek. Looks different every year where to go in. Play with me. Oh, maybe it's over here. I think I. Yeah. Our camera. We'll pick that up, see what's on there on the way back. There's my 330 boxes. Oh, 330 and a 220. Ten frame was there. Well, let's go take a peek anyway down the Horseshoe Creek, see what it looks like. Extremely strange to come here and not see the ten frame. Oh, there's not much snow at all. Some of the Martin boxes are like up to my face, setting them. We have a Martin box here. We're going to set that. Or did I move it? Yeah, I moved that. That's right, I took that down. Okay, let's go check what the river's like. It's getting late. It's a good day. Best day yet since I've been here. Love it. Big tracks ahead, probably a moose. Yep. Oh no, 
That's not a moose. <laughs> That's a otter. make a trail right over here somewhere up to the barren lands. Looks okay. For slush, at least I can see the jagged ice right now with that little bit of sun that's out. And there's any slush. Okay, see how jagged the river is. That's why I didn't want to go up it to check that bird. Freaking nail one of those, man. Okay, let's get this camera out of here. I'm surprised it even stayed because though I was supposed to fix the wire on the way by. See, look at how easy it came off. Wow, and I forgot. So we'll take the whole thing back with us. We're not going to put them out till the end of the season. What a great day. Very good day. Okay, let's get back to camp. I came in on the wrong trail here. Okay, let's straighten this out. Hardly any snow throwing me off a little. It's gonna be awfully strange heading back right now with no trail on the Petra. But we have our GPS and pretty much stay right on the trail. We'll do sets tomorrow coming back. I decided to come in on this lake on the way home. This is where I caught that big marten last year and the fox ate it. But I don't have a trap for a 220 here. We'll get it on the way by tomorrow. But I want to get the smart and trap set. And here's a box that was uh, on the tundra and it broke sitting on the tree. So I'll have to fix that. get anything this year here. It was silly of me not to bring my big mitts under in my uh, battery compartment. I'm not cold, but I know better. Just put them under there and at least have them, right? 
Let's get out of here. Got a big handful of goodness. Look at the boost all along Otter Creek here. What a half decent Martin here. Last year. how thick Otter Creek got. About, I guess about halfway to my town trail and I might, well I probably, I, I will actually put some more Martin boxes along it. Be careful touching my stuff with these gloves. Smelling that gross fish and lure. Well, that's it for the sets today, boys and girls. Still nice and calm. Did get some sun today, so it was nice to get a little bit of sun. See what tomorrow brings. Let's go have. I think I'll have a cup of tea today. I think hot chocolate, whatever. Let's go to camp.